Hi, this is Wayne Zell, host of Blueprint for Wealth and founder and managing member of Zell Law in Reston, Virginia. Today's video blog is an excerpt from my new book, Your Multi-Million Dollar Exit, The Entrepreneur's Business Succession Planner, due out in early 2023. So I hope you enjoy this excerpt and stay tuned for the book. What is a SPAC? How does it work? What are the advantages and risks? And what are a few examples of SPACs that have been successful in the marketplace? A SPAC is basically a special purpose acquisition company that's formed to raise money through an initial public offering, an IPO, to buy another company that's been operating in a particular industry or sector, or it's formed to merge with another company and take that other company public so that its shares can be traded. It's also referred to as a blank check company. At the IPO, the SPAC doesn't have any business operations or stated targets for acquisition, but it's led by sponsors who may be really experienced in a particular industry like telecom or uh, government contracting. Investors in a SPAC may range from private equity funds that are very wealthy and well-to-do to celebrities to the general public. The bottom line is that SPACs have two years to complete the acquisition of a target company, or they have to return the money to the investors. So how does a SPAC work? Again, it takes two years for the SPAC to deploy capital and acquire its target company. And the sponsors usually have industry or sector ex expertise so that they can go and uh, acquire the appropriate company and help run it into the future. The acquisition target typically is not disclosed in the offering of the IPO, which would require much more disclosure and much more regulatory involvement which obviously is not what the sponsor wants. They want an easy path to complete the IPO. When the investors invest money into the SPAC, money is placed into an escrow and it's bearing interest. And the interest might be used to fund the working capital of the SPAC while it seeks and tries to close a deal with a target. If it hasn't completed the deal in two years, the money that is left in the escrow has to be returned to the investors. Typically, SPACs are listed on major stock exchanges like the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ. What are the advantages of a SPAC? Well, normally, in order to get an IPO done, it takes anywhere from six months to a year. I've been involved in a couple myself, and it's a really complicated process. But if you have a SPAC structure, it might only take two or three months to get it done. So it's really expedited. The target's owners, the company that's being acquired, might be able to negotiate a premium price due to the constraints that the SPAC must close in two years. And so if they're coming up on the two-year period, there will be a lot of time pressure, and therefore the SPAC may be willing to pay more for the target than it otherwise normally would. There are risks of operating a SPAC, and that has been realized in very recent months. One risk is there's a substantial lack of oversight from the regulators at the inception of the SPAC simply because they don't disclose who the target company is going to be that they're going to acquire. So there's lack of disclosure from the SPAC to the investors. As many as 70% of SPACs that went public in 2021 were trading below their $10 offer price by the end of 2021, which is not a good sign. And new accounting rules that were originally introduced in April of 2021 have caused a significant drop in filings. There are some examples, and you could get inspired by them. Virgin Galactic was supported by a major private equity fund that uh, initiated a SPAC. That's Richard Branson's company. Of course, everybody's heard of DraftKings, QuantumScape, and Open Door Technologies are some successful examples of SPACs. And if you want to know more about SPACs, 
obviously check it out on the internet, but we can tell you more about it and we can introduce you to folks at Zell Law who might have experience in dealing with SPACs.